Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are great. So let's continue with our discussion on process costing and before we start, a very humble request to all of you to subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon so that you get all the notifications. You are uh, bound to get a lot of useful stuff for you people, right? Okay, so let's start with our discussion on process costing. So in the last lecture, this is uh, what I told you that uh, these are the topics that we have to cover, right? And we have already covered the first topic that is meaning and basics of process costing. So in this lecture, what we are going to do is now we are going to see how to prepare the various process account. So we discussed that if you want to uh, do a chartered accountancy course, you have to go through the various processes that means when you clear your plus two or you clear your graduation when you plan to start with your ca you are a raw material right when you once you complete your ca the degree is in your hand you are a finished product so if you want to convert a raw material into a finished product you uh, the you have to pass through the various processes the raw material has to pass through the various processes and at every process there will be some expenditure right at every process there will be some expenditure and as we are doing the expenditure we'll gain something also right what we are gaining at each st uh, stage is the knowledge that becomes the input for the next stage that means the output of one stage becomes the input for the next stage right keep your handbooks ready with you because uh, we are going to prepare some accounts right those accounts are given in the handbook so nothing you people just have to listen it right you people just have uh, to concentrate on what is the meaning of each and everything there right no need to write anything all those who are having the handbooks that's why i told you the handbooks are really important for all the upcoming chapters right okay sir so let's see now uh, I told you that for every process if you want to find out the total expenditure and the gain you will be preparing the process accounts right similarly for a manufacturing concern if you are a manufacturer of t-shirt and you want to find out the selling price of the finished good what you will do you will first identify the expenditure being done at every process then the input of one uh, the output of one process becomes the input of the next process you will find out the expenditure on the next process similarly you will find out the expenditure at all the process plus profit will give you the selling price right this is basically the main purpose that why we are studying process costing are you getting the point right sir so now what we are going to discuss is we are going to see that how to prepare the various process accounts right so the topic that we are going now to do is the preparation of preparation of process and other accounts sir what is meant by other accounts sometimes with the process account you will be asked to prepare the other accounts also right like the finished goods account cost of sales account costing p and l account so there can be the other accounts also right how to prepare these those accounts we are going to see in this lecture okay so first we are going to prepare the first process account so if you are a manufacturing unit the first account that you are going to prepare is the cutting account because this is your process number one right so let's prepare the first account that is process one account process one account right now sir what is going to be the format for this process account listen to it very carefully what i prepare is i'll tell you and what can be uh, different in some of the books i'll tell you that also right so what i will prepare is i will prepare something like this i'll take three columns on both the sides this is how i prepare the process account and this is how i recommend my students to do it right there is no hard and fast rule one thing uh, you should be clear about there is no hard and fast rule right so what i take is in the first column we have the particulars 
then we have units rate and amount then again particulars for the credit side again units rate and amount right so this is one basic format of the process account if you look at the page 12.1 in the books this is what i have given particulars units rate amount particular units rate amount right now in some of the books even in the ici material in uh, cma material also in ici material also what they will do is in some of the questions they will not be taking this units column or they will be taking the units column they might not be taking this rate column so they might be taking only two columns either units amount or rate amount or only amount so there can be a lot of uh, differences but the best way of doing it is preparing all the three columns that is why i that's what i always recommend preparation of all the columns guys this is my recommendation to you that you should prepare all the columns you should not miss out on any column right units rate amount these are the three columns that you people have to prepare that you should prepare okay even if you will miss out on any of the columns that is not an issue okay rate column according to me is must units column is also equally important why it is important why it is must i let you know when we will discuss about abnormal loss and all those things right then there you will get to know that why the rate column and units column is equally important now in the first process account what will be the entries here now if you are doing the cutting the first process is cutting sir what is the first thing that you will do you will input the raw material right in the first process the first entry will be regarding the raw material you will input the raw material correct sir we will input the raw material so we'll write to material cost now here you will write how many units you have input uh, input what was the rate at which your material was purchased and what is the total amount so amount is units multiplied by rate now after you have input the material what is the second step the second step is the labor obviously you will do some work on that material the labor cost will be there in the labor cost column you can skip this units and rate thing right no need to write this units and rate thing in the labor column even if you will write it nothing to worry about it but you can skip it the units and rate column is mostly important for the material and part uh, material uh, cost right for the labor there will be no units na no, sir there you will directly write amount then two direct expenses if there are any direct expenses what are direct expenses expenses other than material and labor which can be identified in one unit of the finished product right so if there are any direct expenses related to the process one okay so you can write here after that to any overheads or indirect expenses related to that process you will write here right so these are broadly the expenditure that you will be doing on this particular process isn't it now what is the in uh, what is the output of this process sir if we are doing some expenditure on this process that means we will gain something out of this process what is that gain sir whatever we are gaining whatever is the output of this process we will write it here and we will transfer it to the next process so i will write it by process to account how many units you have transferred right what is the total amount that you have transferred and what is the rate at what you have transferred it to the next process so this is your first process account right this is the simplest process account the first process account that you have to prepare any doubts in this thing clear sir this is process number 1 particulars units rate amount particular units rate amount first we are going to input the raw material so we will take the material cost then the labor cost then direct expenses then any overheads if you have right then whatever is the output of this process it will become the input of the next process so this is the output 
so this is the output output of which process first process now it will become the input for which process for second process it will become the input right any doubts up till this point i hope this is clear now next what we are going to prepare is the next we'll have process to account process to account right let's prepare the format is going to remain the same right units rate uh, and amount so first we'll have units then we will have rate then we will have amount then we will have particulars again units rate and amount right particulars unit rate and amount particulars units rate and amount now the first thing that you will take in this account is the output of the previous account right this is the output of process 1 it has to become the input of the process 2 so the first thing that you are going to write here is to process 1 account right number of units at what rate you have transferred and the amount clear sir the amount the this transferred output will become the input in the next process now in the next process you will again input some material more material sir one is which is transferred for the process one then some more material will be input here what is the units at what rate and the amount then you will do some labor work on that obviously there will be labor cost right there will be some direct expenses also right and uh, after that two overheads clear now let's say this is the last process of uh, the finished product after this process number 2 we are going to get a finished product there is no further process right this is the last process and after that we are uh, going to get the finished output so now we'll transfer it to the fg account by finished stock account by finished stock account so how many units and what is the rate at which you are transferring and what is the amount clear any doubts in this thing we are assuming that this process 2 is the last to process and after that there is no process clear sir any doubts in this thing so important thing here is this transfer part this part do not forget about this rest of the thing remains the same the only difference is that you have to input the output of the previous process right whatever was the output of the process number 1 we have to take it as input in this process number 2 clear so sir this is about the process number 1 and process number 2 from process number 2 we have converted into the finished goods now finished stock account that means the next account that we can prepare is the finished stock account isn't it can we prepare the finished stock account yes sir look at page number 12.2 in the handbooks where we have the finished stock account let's prepare the finished stock account very simple account sir finished stock account right the format is going to remain the same sir absolutely same because this is another i can say process only right the number of entries will be less in the finished stock particulars units rate and amount do not go by the lines okay i don't have a scale so you can make it with the scale that is your choice okay now particulars units rate and amount particulars units rate and amount clear sir 
so now what you will write here now the output of the process 2 that is the finished talk we will it will become the input for the finished talk account so i can write here to process 2 account how many units rate and amount now the product is ready here sir the product is ready here sir does it mean that all the expenditure has been done on this product the product is ready from the manufacturing process you have done the manufacturing process the product is ready now does it mean that your product is 100% ready there is no other expenditure to be done our finished good is ready the pro uh, production process is complete after that is there any expenditure which you have to incur yes sir sir what is that expenditure what is the main purpose main purpose is identifying the selling price right till now what we have incurred is the manufacturing cost till this process to uh, to account we have prepared the finished stock till this point what we have incurred is we have incurred only the manufacturing cost there is other cost also sir sir what is the other cost there can be office and administration expenses office and administration overheads so that means sir if we are writing here here we'll take the manufacturing overheads right in the process account what we are going to take is manufacturing overheads factory overheads clear any doubts so office and administration overheads can be there right from here what we are bound to get is the cost of sales from here we will get cost of sales at what cost we can sell right units rate and amount clear after this now that we have transferred the finished stock to the cost of sales that means the next account that we can prepare is the cost of sales account cost of sales account now what we are going to do in this cost of sales is why we have transferred it to cost on sales account now in this case in the cost of sales account you might not uh, take you can take simply the t format right so what you will do here you will write to finished stock account to finished stock account right amount now sir if you want to identify the total cost of sales what you do what you do if you want to find out the total cost of the sales sir th is there any other expenditure which is left when we are going to sell the product is there any other expenditure which is left you have already studied the cost sheet sir you have already studied the cost sheet if you want to sell your product there will be selling and distribution expenses or not you will have to advertise your product right you will have to distribute your product there will be expenses on the distribution vans and all that thing right so if you want to find out the total cost of the sales what you will do is you will add selling and distribution expenses here to selling and distribution expenses now this will give you the total cost now this will give you the total cost one second sir this will give you the total cost of sales right now this cost you will transfer it to costing profit and loss account so you will write by costing profit and loss account right so this cost you are going to transfer it to costing profit and loss account any doubts up till this point to finish to stock account to selling and distribution expenses and this this thing this is your total cost of sales this is your total cost of sales and total cost you will transfer it to costing profit and loss account so now if we are transferring it to costing profit and loss account that means we can prepare another account now sir what is that another account another account is costing profit and loss account right so next account is costing profit and loss account 
so this is the next account that we have that is costing profit and loss account now from here you will write to cost of sales that is the total cost right on this side what you are going to take what what do you take in the trading profit and loss account you take the cost on the one side and on the other side what do you take we take the sales so you will write here by sales suppose this total cost let's okay write down we'll write down the figures here now let's say the total cost of sales is 100 rupees and you are selling the product for 200 rupees right this is your selling price basically this is your selling price at what price you have sold the product right so what is the purpose of preparing this costing profit and loss account to book the profit or loss so i can write here to profit to profit 100 rupees and my account will be tallied sir in case there is a loss in case there is a loss if there is a loss then you will write here by loss right if any clear by loss if any in that case your cost will be more than your sales so you can write it by loss any doubts in this thing so what you have to take is profit and loss so these are all the accounts now see we have not transferred anything to anywhere we have just closed this account can you see the hierarchy that we have created first we prepared the process one account right where we have taken all the expenditure and the output of the process one account is transferred to the process two account where it becomes the input that is important thing that you do not miss out on this input part right in the process two account the first thing that you have to take is the output of the process one then there will be another material labor direct expenses over manufacturing overheads then we uh, assumed that process two is the last process after that we, what we are going to get is the finished product so we transferred the whole of it to the finished stock account then we will prepare the finished stock account right where we'll take the input from process two and office and administration overheads will give us the cost of sales from where we are going to identify the total cost of sales by adding the selling and distribution expenses and this total cost will be transferred to costing profit and loss account right where we are going to take the sales and identify our profit or loss any doubts up till this point so these are the various accounts which you have to prepare some of the accounts are still pending like the normal loss account abnormal loss account we have to we will discuss it when we will discuss those topics right i'll not discuss right here because right here you won't be able to understand this thing up till this point this is the very simplest part of process costing which we have discussed in the last lecture also right that simple process account you have to prepare uh, you have to take all the expenditure right simple all the expenditure all the input you have to take and transfer it to the next process so this is the simplest of uh, process accounts i can say right some of the accounts like normal loss abnormal loss accounts i'll discuss it in the uh, when we are going to discuss those topics right like uh, when we are going to discuss about the normal loss we'll discuss the normal loss account when we'll discuss about abnormal loss i will discuss about the abnormal loss account okay so any doubts up till this point now let's see the questions practical part question number one I'll give this question as homework because this is the simplest of the process costing and all those who are the CA intermediate students, this is your module question. I say a module question, the answer you can get it from there, right? Uh, I'll tell you the little things in this. A very simple question, sir. Nothing to worry about it. Question number one. From the following data, prepare the process accounts indicating the cost of each process and the total cost. The total units that pass through each process were 240 for the period. Clear? any doubts then we are given the information for process one process two and process number three material labor and other expenses right then this line is important for this question says the indirect expenses what are indirect expenses my overheads he says the indirect expenses amounting to 85,000 may be apportioned on the basis of wages. There was no opening or closing stock. Now these other expenses are my direct expenses. 
he says there are some indirect expenses the total indirect expenses are 85000 right now you have to distribute this 85000 among process number 1 process number 2 and process number 3 right if you want to distribute this indirect expenses between process number 1 2 and 3 you need some base the base is given in the question that is the wages that is this labor right that means this 85000 will be apportioned between process 1 2 and 3 in which ratio sir 80000 is to 2 lakh is to 60000 so it this can be easily done this can be easily done in this case sir this is the simplest of things in this case it will be 20000 right in this case it is going to be 50000 and in this case this is going to be 15000 so the total of 85000 total of 85000 any doubts right so the base is given now what you have to do is you have to simply prepare the process accounts you don't have to do anything sir you just have to prepare the process accounts and the format is going to be this only sir where it is this is the process this is simple right so you can use this formats only material is given 240 units so what you will write here okay i'll rub this so what you will write here is sir you are given 240 units of material and what is the cost that is given 1 lakh 50 thousand 1 lakh 50 thousand you will write here so you can calculate the rate 1 lakh 50 thousand divided by 240 right 625 labor cost is given to you as 80,000 direct expenses as 26,000 indirect expenses that is the overheads we have calculated as 20,000 right working note you will prepare the working note this will become your working note right this is your basically the working note that you have to present in the proper format clear so working note 20,000 so uh, from here what you will get is you will transfer to process number 2 account right you will transfer 240 units to the process 2 and what is the total amount that you are transferring 1 lakh 50 thousand plus 80 plus 26 plus 20 right so the total amount is 2 lakh 76 thousand and what is the rate uh, 2 lakh 76 thousand 1150 is going to be the rate any doubts so this is your process one account which is ready now similarly you will prepare the process two account in that do not forget to take this process one account one second do not forget to take this process one account sir that means whatever we have transferred from process one that is 240 units at the rate of 1150 and the amount is 2 lakh 76 thousand right yeah, again material 240 units sir why 240 units read the question carefully the question says that through each process 240 units are being processed that means if you are going to uh, incur more material it will be for the 240 units only right the cost is 50,000 right so the rate is approximately 208 the labor cost is given to you as 2 lakh rupees right direct expenses are given as 72,000 indirect expenses 50,000 so you can transfer it to process 3 account now here instead of the finished goods instead of finished goods what you will have sir uh, we will have process 3 account right so in the process 3 account 240 units what is the total amount that we will be transferring that is 6 lakh 48,000 right the rate will be 2700 now similarly you can prepare the process 3 account so i have done process 1 and process 2 right here you have to write the total sir not xxx you have to write the totals here clear so this is how your question is to be done process 1 process 2 and if you want to see the complete solution it is in your ici material although there is no need guys uh, i have already told you this process uh, 1 and process 2 i have already prepared in the process 3 account you will get the total amount that is 7 lakh 68000 right 
so in the process three you will get seven lakh sixty eight thousand that is the total amount that will be transferred to the finished goods account fg stock account sir do we need to prepare the fg stock account no need to prepare it right because there are no office and administration expenses or selling expenses given so your question will end on process three only right if you are given the office and administration expenses then you can prepare the finished goods account add office and administration expenses and uh, identify the cost of sales account so there is no need of that right what he is asking is prepare the process accounts and whatever the information is given is given for only process number 1 2 and 3 there is no information given relating to the finished goods or office administration expenses or selling and distribution expenses so no need to prepare the further accounts like cost of sales like costing p and l so no need to prepare those accounts in this case right so question number 1 is done i hope this concept is clear related to the process accounts that how you have to prepare the various process accounts right everything is given in the handbooks no need to worry about it so in the next lecture now what we are going to discuss is the next part that is about normal loss very interesting sir very interesting we are going to discuss about normal loss listen to it very carefully in the next lecture very important but very interesting and very easy right so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy keep sharing keep studying thank you so much